code. Who's this? Where are you calling from? This is Ed. Ed. From Oregon. From Oregon. What's going on? Hey, I just wanted to tell you that I live in a Republican county and I have these friends and it gets down to their source of information. <laughs> and they come up with a lot of these wild ideas like one I've been hearing for a long time, for years, that there's millions of illegal immigrants voting. And so I was over at one of their houses and I said, where do you get this information? I can't find any stories on this. And he turns his computer, he's on some website and it's a pop-up. He's, it's not the website he's on, it's a pop-up from the website. So it's, it's an it's, ad. It's a, it's, a, it's a questionnaire or a survey. And it says like, do you believe that millions of illegal Mexicans, immigrants, should be able to vote. And it, it's just a pop-up with the question, and that is their source of information, and that's factual news. And so I was just amazed to learn that all of these people around here, that was actually their source of information were pop-ups. That's, and it's not even, I mean, it's a surf. It's a push pull, essentially. Is what right, I mean. exactly. And I, I didn't know what the term meant until Air America Radio listening to Al Franken, and he came up with the push pull examples in South Carolina. Would you vote for Max Cleland if you knew he had fathered five illegitimate children? You know, and they're doing push pull pop ups. And but the, the sad thing is, is they they're taking it as factual news. All they're doing is just asking questions. <laughs> Honestly, like that is that there it is. They're just you know the you know like like we, we just covered this with Glenn. We just covered it with all they they're walking push pulls is what it is, and yes. they got it. They but, but, they're trolling around. How can for people dupes. believe it? How could people be so? Low education that they'll see something. I don't, I don't clearly know. Clearly asking education. them a question and they're converting it into factual news. Who I, would believe I don't that? Know that it's, I don't know that it's a function of question as much as it is um, desire to um, have certain explanations. I, I don't know that it's, a, that it's a question of education as much as it is like a desire for confirmation bias. Of their their feelings, their uh, yeah, okay. And uh, another thing, there's a reason is, why is they had to. There's a reason why they had to come up with that pithy slogan. Uh, the facts don't care about your feelings, because um, they knew that in the same way that Fox rolled out with "We report, you decide," which of course was a joke from the beginning. They, from a, from a propaganda perspective, you go right to the heart of your own weakness and you tout it as a strength. And then you're inoculated, right? And so facts don't care about your feelings is really basically their way to inoculate. Facts are a function of your feelings. Appreciate the call. Thank you. I mean, that's nuts, but I'm also not terribly surprised.